We'll come back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. As you may recall, I use the uh, smarturl.it uh, redirect service. So if you want to find out who I am, go to smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. Uh, if you want to um, see my um, information about getting my study manual for exam P, called the BTDT manual, and BTDT stands for Been There, Done That. You have to be so prepared on an actuarial exam that when you look at a problem, every single problem on the test, you should be able to say, been there, done that. Because you've done a lot of problems like that and you know immediately what to do. If you don't know what to do and you haven't achieved anything in three minutes, go to the next problem. There is only five to six minutes per problem on the test. You have no time to think, uh, deliberate, and things like that. You have to know immediately what to do. If you don't, you're not prepared. All the thinking should be done before the exam to prepare yourself. Thinking is the last resort of the unprepared and it usually means failing. You have to be a lean, mean, problem-solving machine on the test. My online seminar for exam uh, P and FM and MFE and MLC is at smarturl.it forward slash btdt online. Right here. Here's a problem posted as a sample problem by the Society of Actuaries. Let x denote the size of a surgical claim and let y denote the size of the associated hospital claim. An actuary is using a model in which e of x is 5, e of x squared is 27.4, e of y is 7, e of y squared is 51.4, and the variance of x plus y is 8. Let c1 be x plus, uh, equal to x plus y denote the size of the combined claims before the application of a 20% surcharge on the hospital portion of the claim, and c2 denote the size of the combined claims after the application of that surcharge. Calculate covariance of C1 and C2. Okay, so we first note that uh, covariance of C1 and C2 is really covariance of x plus y and x plus 1.2y. And now the most important thing to remember about covariance is that it's a linear operator in each of its variables. If, uh, so um, it's a linear operator in the first variable, covariance of two things. Uh, you covariance of x plus y with anything is the sum of covariance of x with that thing and covariance of y with that thing. And the same for x plus 1.2y. So the result is that you can just separate the covariance of x and x, covariance of y and x, covariance of x and 1.2y and covariance of y and 1.2y. And it's the sum of all of those. Now covariance of x and x is the x is a variance of x. Uh, covariance of y x is the same as covariance of x y. And then covariance is a linear operator in the second um, of its variable second argument. So a uh, covariance of x and 1.2y is 1.2 covariance of xy, and covariance of y and 1.2y is a covariance uh, 1.2 times the variance of y, because it's 1.2 times covariance of y with y. So this whole thing becomes variance of x plus 2.2 covariance of x and y plus 1.2 variance of y. But the variance of x is e of x squared minus the mean of x squared, so it's 27.4 minus 5 squared, so it's 2.4. And the variance of y is e of y squared minus the mean of y squared, so it's 51.4 minus 7 squared, so 2.4 again. And because the variance of x plus y is the variance of x plus variance of y plus two covariances of xy, which is a very important formula and you must remember it for the test, um, we have that uh, covariance of xy will be equal to variance of x plus y minus variance of y minus variance of, uh, of x, um, the whole thing divided by 2. So we plug in the numbers and that means the covariance of xy is 1.6. And then the covariance of c1 and c2 is, well, what you get when you plug in all these values, uh, variance of x, which is 2.4, plus 2.2 times covariance of xy, so 2.2 times 1.6, plus 1.2 times variance of y, which is 
2.4 and the answer is 8.8. .8. Please remember that this is copyrighted material and also old um, Society of Actuaries and Casualty Actual Society exams uh, exam problems are mm, belong to uh, copyrighted by them, belong to them and are reproduced here with permission. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the exam.